Hello rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbital's rocket shop where we continue working on the world's only crude crowdfunded space rocket speaker. Hello Adam, uh, what have you been working on today? Uh, hey, I, uh, I have been building the, the motor and the transmission for the main valves for the upcoming speaker rocket. So as, as you see, this is, uh, this is how far we got with it. So um, right now we have the motor and then we have the first intermediate um, gearbox which will uh, make sure that we have the right speed and the right torque for opening the valves. How long did it take you to do, uh, make this project? Well, this is, uh, this is my master's thesis, what I'm doing in, um, in cooperation with uh, Copenhagen Suborbitals. So I started on it uh, back in maybe mid-August uh, with the component selections and, uh, and uh, modeling the system, making sure everything works, drawing up a system diagram, identifying the requirements. For, for everything and um, now we are at the point where we can finally turn something on and see it, uh, see it rotate, so mm. it's getting exciting now. I can see that you are testing on your computer next to it. Yeah. What kind of data have you gone out of in the test until now? Well, um, we can, we can measure all kinds of things. Uh, with this setup here, we can measure how much uh, power the motor is drawing, how fast it turns, uh, how much, um, how much uh, current is running through the coils. Um, also, we can monitor temperatures to make sure that uh, both the uh, electrical commutator and the motor is all right. But Adam, what has been the challenge in making this kind of valve instead of the one we made on the BPM-5 engine? Well, the BPM-100 engine is... Uh, a bit bigger <laughs> than the, than the BPM five, so that means it will uh, it will uh, chew up more uh, more fuel per second, more oxidizer per second. So that means we need a bigger valve, like the the BPM five valves. If I if I recall, were like this big with the valve body and everything, and uh, the BPM one hundred valves are like this. So we need a bit more oomph to 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 open them up, and uh, this is why we need to we need to upgrade in. Um, in size, if we want to achieve the torque levels required to to break that open when it's uh, when it's cooled down by the liquid oxygen, so uh, so this is uh, this is one of the main differences that um, we need such a fast opening time with such a high torque that we cannot buy a ready-made solution because uh, all the manufacturers when we did the initial rounds of figuring out what we can do told us that this is basically non-existent in the market, so we have to build it ourselves. What has been the challenge in making this kind of uh, valve for the speaker rocket? Well, one of the challenges has been just identifying system requirements and uh, uh, figuring out which industrial components can we misuse in such a way that it remains safe while we are saving mass. Because those torque ranges, what we are working with at the valve, uh, at the valve side, um, most of the times when we called the suppliers, they told us that the smallest gearbox, what they can provide us, which can, um, which can output the torque, um, started around 20, 25 kilos of, of weight. So, um, so we needed to select something more lightweight because we cannot have the main valves of the rocket weigh in the ballpark of 30 kilos, right? So, so we had to select something uh, smaller, but then we will drive those components out of their design range. So. Uh, just identifying all the system requirements and then making sure that all the components what we intend to source are able to actually stand up to those challenges basically that and after that of course running after the suppliers in these corona times that uh, hey guys can you ship us something uh, like uh, yesterday that was also a challenge that is all for now so as always thank you for watching and supporting if you don't want to miss any of our future updates make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so we can see you next time when we get one step closer to space
The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.